Hey y'all, uh, hey, hey, hey. So, like, as I'm sitting here getting ready to um, cook, I'm sitting, I'm thinking about my, um, like, I was just thinking, I was like, all right, I was listening to some Kanye West. And I started thinking about, like, some of the top albums. Because music, like, what's the best albums? I don't really get into, like, the greatest and the goats and all that for real. Because all that is really relative, right? Like, depending on what you've been exposed to, what your taste is, what you think, what generation, call, like, the media, like, all that, right? But I can say that, like, when it comes to uh, the, the the MJ, like, first of all, and I really don't like comparing. But, so, like, to me, LeBron is is my favorite um, basketball player. And I think he dominate that shit on and off the court. Like, so if there was, like, a comparison, like, oh, who you picking, like, eh, it's for me, it's LeBron, right? Um... Easy. Easy. Ain't even gotta think about it. But that's for me. Like that's that's my opinion. Um and even when we talk basketball, like don't get me wrong, I'm not like a I mean I used to really watch basketball. I ain't really watched basketball in a long, long time. Oh, since LeBron left Cleveland the second time. Probably like shortly after that. I ain't really watched it. I haven't really watched basketball. So yeah, I'm one of those. Um it is cool, like everything got seasons. But like, so but when it comes to music, like I'll be feeling like you really can't buy it, bro. I'm trying to cook and, and record. Uh but I'll be feeling like You really can't like determine what is uh like it's 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 fun to debate it, but it's all relative. That's all. Like it's all relative. There's really no way of saying like who is the is the greatest. I don't think so anyway. Damn, do I got any gloves? I should have some gloves. Let me walk this hard. Let me pause that. Okay, I'm back. So I was talking about um, best. So like I was listening to Kanye West and it made me think about like some of my favorite albums and definitely College Dropout is definitely on the list, right? Um, definitely, like I still listen, I can still listen to College Dropout front to back. And y'all, everybody already know how I feel about Kanye. Like, well, yay. Um, whatever else he got going on and i agree with some things he's saying some things i don't i listen to some stuff and some stuff i don't like he a whole human being he a whole god over there um doing what he do but like that being right there i just have a lot of respect for um from what i am privileged to in this in this part of the world you know in in my life on my frequency um, I don't follow him religiously. Well, I don't really follow anybody religiously. But, yeah. Uh, and I'm just also, like, for me, that's a black man that ain't really done no nothing for real to nobody on a big scale. And, like, the world is just determined to shut him up, castrate him, and, like be against him and that to me is like nah so it is what it is um but college dropout definitely and actually one of my um i like them i like so like i like the album but uh spaceship is one of my favorite songs on there um i've been working this great shift and uh whatever you know that one that's like my favorite but one of my favorite songs but i liked them all actually i'm gonna go back and listen to it uh the guy box david banner definite another front to back but if you know me recently you're like you already know whole album um and that's 
that's one of the first albums that I bought when I got my record player, right? Like, I was excited to get some albums, and that's one of the first albums that I bought, and it was exciting to me. And the artwork and, like, the freaking time and effort and creativity that was put in the freaking artwork of the album, that was for Nike. I'm glad I spent that money. Um, and I am not even in a place to appreciate all of it. Like, it was so much stuff that I didn't understand, that I didn't know. But, like, just the creative part and just the, like, whoo, that was, that was dope to me. Um, uh, Pac, you know, if you know me, you know I'm Pac. Um, Machiavelli, definitely. Um... All Eyes on Me, the double disc. Definitely. I think I still have them. I don't know. I don't know if I, if I have the... I used to have the um, the DV, the CDs that I had kept for a long time. But I don't even know if I have them still. Uh, what else did I used to love? Like, because I listen to people's, like, top. And I'll be like, oh, okay. That wasn't really what I was on growing up. Um do or die and i think it was i can't remember if it was uh still po pimpin or heads and tails that was like my favorite album but i did like them both i did enjoy both of them um i was definitely a fan of do or die twister uh twister was definitely um, I used to really like Busta Rhymes, so I liked his flow, but I don't remember, like, just buying an album and listening to an album. Um, let me see. But, um, the Hot Boys back in the day was, like, with, uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, um, that was, like, one of my albums. I'm, like, trying to think, like, recent stuff. Like, Eve. Eve, I did like um, Evolution, but I liked her first one, and I can't even think of the name right now, and that just drives me nuts. The First Lady, First Lady Rough Riders, was that the name of the album? Rough Riders, First Lady, Eve, or was it just Eve? Rough Riders, I don't remember, but whatever that her first album was, definitely, I still would listen to that today. Like, I would go and stream that today i always felt like i mean we love eve but i always felt like she was like underrated um she was she was cold i liked trina and little Kimna back in the day as well um as i got older and just moved into different you know areas it was just i can't i really don't think i can go back and like listen to those albums the same but i do like if i come across one of the song one of the songs come across it's still cool like i'll i'll listen to it i'll flow to it i still remember the lyrics and stuff um um i like ti's album uh what is it um, america us us or else I think whatever that album was, um, I'm thinking like, I'm like, it's, a, it's, I listen to more male artists, especially on the rap side. And when you talk about like whole albums, than I do on, with the females, but I, I, I love Rhapsody's new album. Like I have put that on and, um, man, the journey I went like the fuck. That that album was fire is because it's it's new, it's it's so fire to me like um so like that's like my hip hop stuff like I know when you when people talk about the greats they talk about like outcasting them but like I didn't maybe I I feel like I did used to listen to Speaker Box and D Lo or. Maybe it was the Idlewild um, soundtrack that I actually was like listening to. Or maybe it was both. It's just been so long that I can't remember. But at some phase in my life, I feel like I was listening to both of those albums. And I don't even, I don't even have the CDs. I don't even, well, I, I gave away like 
Well, I, I, I got rid of like my CD collection and my DVD collection probably like two years ago. I was just like, what am I doing with them? I like, I keep carting these boxes with me. Every time I move boxes full of DVDs and CDs and I was just like, let me just get rid of them. Like, I felt like it was like, ah, I don't need these. So I just took like, I had to pick out my favorite ones from like, the, like I had to pick out like, I think my favorite 15 or 20 CDs and then my favorite 15 or 20 DVDs. Like, that's how I did it. Um, 50 Cent Get Rich or Die Trying was definitely like I probably would still go listen to that. I still do go listen to certain songs from that. Um, I used to love Eminem too, like his music. Oh my goodness! But I haven't gone back and listened to any of it, and that's how I decide like um, the music that I think was like my. The, my favorites because if I can still go back at 42 and listen to it then like okay but if I don't think I will be able to listen to that now then I just don't like I go back and listen to um uh some of Banner's old stuff and um I haven't really listened to 50s new stuff. Jay, you already know. Like, I feel like I don't even have to mention Rockefeller because if you knew me or even if you didn't, like, I just feel like Rockefeller Records had, like, everybody on listening. Like, they had everybody's ears. So, to me, it doesn't even, I don't even have to say it because it's all, it should be automatic, but in case it's not, like, Jay-Z, definitely a top artist. How can he not be, like... And I can't even pick a favorite album, but I guess if I had to, it would be... They all so different. Like, I love each... And I kept all my Jay CDs, like... So I had to work around that. <laughs> but, like... The Black Album, at that point in time in my life, was definite. But, like, the Blueprints... Like, I listened to... For... Before, before, when everybody's just like, all oh, this, what, like, what, are y'all hearing the, the music? Like, I, the Carters, like, I don't, all that, all that. I, I, I just, I love each one for the journey for what it was. Like, I appreciated each body of art, each piece of art for, like, and the lit, like, so for me, that's just, like, I can't pick an album, it's Jay-Z, but if I have to pick an album, I'll say, like, at a time in my life, I, but I was like that with each album, like, the Black album, but because I got the lyric, I got lyrics tatted on me, either Love Me or Leave Me Alone, I guess we'll just go with the Black album. Um, but they were all, like, okay, moving on. Uh, so that's, like, that, and then when I think about... Let me see what hip hop artist off the top of my head. Because whenever I start talking, I get blank. And as soon as I, I hang this up or I stop this and I start, like, my mind start. I'm like, oh, I forgot. Oh, it's going to be that. But it's going to be fun to hear some other people's, like, stuff. Um, I still, like, I still listen to Dre. Um, Dr. Dre. Uh, of course, the chronic, like, and then what was the next, uh, Steel Dre? Now, I wasn't really a Nas fan, um, and not, like, I liked, um, if I, like, I liked the songs that came on the radio, of course, but, like, I think I had, oh, shit. I think I had, like, tried to listen to, like, uh, one of the records, like, one of his albums or something, and I just couldn't fully make it through. It it wasn't holding my attention. Um, and I just felt like it was the beats. Like, even if the lyrics is tight, like, I, I need a, a me, like, it's still the beat. Like, it gotta be over a, a tight beat. And I just, I don't even remember which album, but this was many years ago. Like, I was still probably... In my, my my teens or my like early twenties, trying to 
listen to Nas. And I say I would go back and listen to some of them artists back then from back then, but I didn't. And like Exhibit, I loved Exhibit. Um Devin the dude. Like I was <laughs> I did listen to some short, but short was I I I listened to some short, but short was a little he was a little much for me. But Devin the dude, I did like Devin the dude. Um but those wasn't like favorite like I said my favorite now I'm just throwing stuff out there um Remy I thought Remy was dope um and and Foxy in their own way now I didn't really appreciate Remy until I got older like I liked her she had her own flow she had her own style she was different she was like beautiful to me and like her flow like her I liked Remy um i did but like i don't think i appreciate her and like a lot of the female mcs i didn't really follow but i loved queen latifah when i was younger like queen latifah's music i used to be walking around you know sing <laughs> singing uh you and i ty like um uh, what else was it i think it was queen oh, it's been so long like something I can't remember the 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 meat the songs. Salt and Pepper, like TLC, like oh I oh my goodness. So for TLC, that, so now we're going into what would they have been considered? Cause I considered them R and B, but I guess were they or were they pop? Like were they more pop? Cause I just had always considered them R and B. Crazy sexy cool album. Oh, was that the best one though? Ah, oh. cause I liked all they. Sh I liked all TLC. Like, I liked all of TLC stuff, cause they were just so versatile and dope to me. Like, how could you not? I want to go stream all this stuff right now. Like, I just feel like I should stop talking and just go and make a whole nother playlist. My title, I be having so many, cause I, title is the only music app that I use for real like as long as I can keep my subscription up because sometimes my finances you know don't be letting me do that but and then I struggle with the other apps like the other music apps like I don't use Spotify I think I tried I didn't really understand it but like when I got hit to title and then seeing it was black on and then seeing all the artists and then seeing how they really um been like trying to figure out making sure that artists get paid how they supposed to and like whatever research i was doing on title i was like okay this is who i'm sticking with so like i use title so like my, i got like so many playlists on title but now i feel like i need to make another one um for me uh <laughs> um let me see let me see so who else did i used to just love oh we gonna talk like different other music genres uh, when I was when I was probably like 21 Kid Rock I was a Kid Rock fan like I liked his music um so I would be blasting Kid Rock and I I liked country music too I'm trying to remember like um some of the country artists that I liked back then like at that time frame but like i can't besides like uh carrie underwood was she considered country or was she considered pop like sometimes i don't even be i don't even be knowing like which line they straddling um well dolly everybody like she be dolly is dolly um who else were the Dixie girls what genre were that is I can't remember nobody's genre right now I'm just doing Christina Aguilera like oh my god and I, she wasn't country but like her music I loved I liked Jessica Simpson like I really liked Jessica Simpson I had like all her CDs um Oh, now I think about my CD collection. Like I had a whole bunch of di like different type of music. I had soundtracks. I think I kept my way into a tail soundtrack because like, who getting rid of that? I think I kept my way into a tail soundtrack. Um, 
my belly soundtrack. I don't know if I kept it or not, but that sound soundtracks used to. I know I'm skipping because I like like I enjoy music, and I can't think of like everybody that I enjoy because like it's so many, and especially because like my music has evolved like my taste in music has evolved so much and like just what i've been listening to these last years as i've been like evolving and like going through my own things it's been mostly like a lot of like uh instrumentals music um frequencies like sound frequencies like sound bowls and um flute like instrument like that's been my um that's just been where I've been at now. Like, I, I couldn't listen to a lot of stuff. And even when I did, I would go back and listen to some stuff. But then you got the new stuff because I love me some Cardi. Um, now, to be honest, I don't think I've gone and bought, like, any of her CDs or albums. But I have listened to, like, the whole thing. Um... And I like Cardi. Like, I just... I like Cardi as a person from what, you know... Because these is all, like public persona who they are like whatever like what what i see um and i love her simply because she her like she a woman trying to be as authentic to in my perception as authentic as she can in a world that don't want her to be so i can appreciate that um just like i used to like jocelyn for the same reason like i, I knew she People thought she was messy, and she was, but she was also, like, a woman trying to figure it out and be as authentic. And she was as authentic as she could be to me. Like, whatever that meant, I'd be wanting people to be who they are. So, like, you can decide what you want to do with that. And um, I got hip to Jocelyn because uh, my girl at the time, she was watching um, uh, the, what, what was the show? Um... What's the name of the show? The people watch that. I, uh, Housewives of no, was it Housewives of Atlanta? Was that the name of it, or was it like Hip Hop? Hip Hop. I don't know. Whatever show she was on, y'all know that. I watched it for like probably the first, cause I was filming my girl taking care of her. So I had um watched it. I think for like what two, two or three seasons. I watched it with her maybe maybe the first two seasons and then that and then that was it like i i didn't watch it anymore and then it just you know everything has this because it wasn't anything that i was watching like that i would have just turned to anyway but it was something that she enjoyed watching so i would sit up there and watch it with her and um that was that was cool enough but let me see so like and i like i love the 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 new girls coming in and working together collaborating together lotto like i like her music when i hear it um and i've seen her collabing with a lot of women like i fucking love how these new young girls is coming in they like we ain't gotta be like let's make this money together it's enough of us in here in our styles like i like that and um I don't know everybody's name though. Like I did watch the um, what was it called? Ladies of Hip Hop, that Queen Latifah special that she did. I think it was on Netflix. I loved it, and then I went and followed like each of those women, and I went and listened to their music. Like I heard their stories. I went and followed them. Like so I was like, oh, okay, and I like went and put some of their music in my playlist that I liked and stuff. So like, yeah. Um, how the hell y'all getting in here? Is my screen got a hole in there or something? I need y'all niggas back out. Y'all got to go. Damn flies in my kitchen. Mm -mm. Um, but I, 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 I love music. I do love different types of music. I enjoy, um, light rock. I don't really got into no heavy, like, heavy metal or anything, for real, like, that for my ears that don't work um but i love jazz i enjoy blues i don't know many of the artists like and it's crazy because i'm not big on artists so i might know a song or i know might know some lyrics or i might hear something but i might not know who sing it i might not know anything about the artist like for me, it's mostly about the art, and then every once in a while, or every you know, the artist that it that it does attach to. There's that. Um, 
I like um, some of Killer, Killer Mike's music. I can't say that I like at all. I haven't heard all of it. Um, but I have heard some songs from him that I just enjoy. There are some things that he's done, like, outside of it. Like, uh, his, his special, Trigger Warning on netflix like that really got me i had liked like some stuff that i heard but that like really is what got me on and listening to him speak um because that's one thing that i i like about some of the more conscious artists and how how they speak on different things like that i that be a part of the stuff that like really attract me to like who the person is as a person like what you speaking on and then you know you just have the queen like Latifa, whatever she's doing, it's she just classy to me. She just grace, like, sh but and then we forget about what, who she was on the music side, and I'm like, oh, okay, so like I actually been wanting to go back and listen to some some of her music from my childhood because I'm like, hey, like that was the queen. She was really flowing, and then she went into you know. Um, movies and film and tv and then i heard a i think it was a new song i heard from her recently like i heard her and she was who was she with it was like i think it was she was on a song with a guy or they was on her song and then i was like oh my gosh is this a new song and i listened to the song and then i wanted to go back but you know like distractions and i was like okay so that's reminding me i'm pretty sure i heard a new song from her recently um who else like now on the R and B side, like I love listening to like there was Tamia. Um she was Tamia one of my favorites. Like that voice in her song in her music, like her songs. Yeah. Who else did I love? I used to love like Deborah Cox, Heather Headley, um, Erica Badu, India Ari. Um, who else did I just like love their music? Um uh, Emil LaRue I don't know if I pronounced that right but like uh, Emil LaRue for real like her but I had her album like I had her CD I liked her music um and to, and today like I'll think like Snow Allegra love her um Division can't like I don't think I have a song of theirs that I just don't like, for real. Like, oh my goodness. Um, Mahalia, I enjoy her. They like, it's like some dope artists out. Um, what is it, Pink, Pink Floyd? Is that his name, I think? I enjoy his music. Um, and then, what is his name, McQueen? I think it's McQueen, but I can't remember, like, I know it's two names, but I think I just can remember McQueen. Like, I enjoy his music. And then I've been seeing, like, uh, oh, my goodness, is her name Callie? And she plays, like, I think that's a harp. She's dope. I think her name is Callie. I, but I can't remember, like, off the top of my head. But I've been seeing, like, some dope instrumentals. Oh, my goodness. Like... They've been coming out here with these saxophones and these flutes and the like, and I'm just like in heaven, like okay. Um, so when we say like that, like Riley, what is it, Riley? Is it Riley Reynolds? I don't feel like it might. What's his name, right? Like I know it's Riley. It's the first name. Like I enjoy him. He's jazz. I enjoy jazz. Um. Oh my gosh, there's just so many people. Like, so what kind of music? I just spent 30 minutes talking about music. That's cool. Um, what kind of music y'all be liking? And like, what genre? Because I'll be all over the place. Like, I'm just gonna listen to music. If it draws me in, I'm gonna listen to it. Uh, that's why I love that Beyonce, like I said before, did her country album. Because like, I searched for, like I, I knew about um, Mickey uh, Guyton, I think it's how you pronounce her name. And like, um, I knew K. Michelle was doing some country because I enjoy K. I, I enjoy some of K. Michelle's music. Like I do enjoy uh, some of her music. Um, I don't really listen to a lot of gospel, like for years now. But I love Lecrae. Like 
and I used to couldn't stand like uh, Christian rap until I came across the cray and then I was like okay and then like it was a couple other of like people in that genre that I was like oh okay alright I like alright cool this I can do um like but I, when I was in church I used to enjoy like John Piquet um into church music like gospel it was like John Piquet of course Kirk Franklin um who's that something mass choir and the children something children's mass choir and the children I can't remember Mississippi Miss, maybe, maybe it was like the Mississippi mass choir or something I can't remember but um when I when I yeah so I don't really do gospel music uh these days I did used to like uh John Piquet and Tonex I think that was his name um that was like the the gospel that I, I enjoy and then of course you had um Tamala Man and um uh the Mary Mary the Clark sisters uh who else back then um I can't remember but like what's some of y'all stuff I want to hear it